Hi everybody, this is Maria Clark and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to do another mandala dot painting, this time on a picture frame. Let's get started. These are the tools and materials. I'll use a chalky finish uh, deco art for the uh, black background and then a variety of deco art Americana acrylic paints which are listed in the in the uh, description below. Um, these are usually found at your craft, local craft stores but I do also have some Amazon links for you to take a look at. I'm using my Crystallite's uh, hook sets and my nail dotting tools which are also listed below and then this time I'm using a 5 8 inch dowel that you can find um, in the craft store um, or I'll have a, an alternative way for you to make a larger uh, sort of design element and this unfinished wood frame. This is a really inexpensive frame. You can see that um, it's really easy uh, to put a picture or, or something else, some other um, visual in there. Save that little card because we'll use that to cut out the picture. Now you'll notice on this that there's some really rough edges. This is not an, an expensive um, piece of wood, so there's quite a few um, raw edges. Uh, that are that need to be sanded down and prepared in order to for us to um, have a nice smooth finish so I'm using some 220 grit sandpaper and I'm just going over it and then once I'm done sanding I will use a damp paper towel to take off the dust and then I'll apply the um, black chalk paint um, all around the front and the back of the frame and now I'm drawing with my general chalk pencil uh, and just a, a ruler I'm drawing the grid and I go from corner to corner and then from the center of each um, side of this frame and connect all of those dots and you'll see that it gives me the center of the piece and some grid lines to work with. And you'll see that the, fr the heart is off center a little bit which I think is really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with um, painting this. Um, I do have some description, the painting pattern below, um, but I'll start with cadmium yellow and the number P um, crochet hook for the first center dot and then I'll move out to the largest ball stylus. You'll notice that I made a little mistake there, just used a, a damp Q-tip to wipe that off and uh, let it dry and then I can keep going. So the largest doll st ball stylus also with the cadmium yellow for the next um, two rows, so that would be rows two and three. Um, I am filming this at a little bit of an angle. Uh, I just thought that was better for you to be able to see the dots, but I do think it distorts just a little bit, the dots. They don't look perfectly round. They are um, when you see them um, face on. And now I'm moving to the saffron yellow, and I'm using the uh, number G crochet hook, which is a uh, I'll use that for rows four and five. One thing I wanted to mention about this row, um, this next, this first saffron yellow row is, you'll notice when I get to the edge, I do sort of put the dot over the edge so it appears to be going off the edge. Now I'm using a mixture of citron green and titanium white to get a light citron green. And I'm using my uh, number K, uh, I'm sorry, the number I um, crochet hook and uh, just putting a couple rows of that down. And then I'll go in with the citron green and I'm using the K crochet hook and just get um, a couple of rows of that citron green down. And you can see that I'm starting to go from lighter shades out uh, in my pattern. It'll give it a really pretty look um, to have the different shades of, um, of the yellow, greens, and blues. And now I'm going in with um, baby blue and I'm using the number M crochet hook and going in and placing one row going off the edge slightly. And then still using the, um, the baby blue um, but I'm, I've gone up a size in the hook and I'm using the number N hook and I'll just put a row of those all the way around. And now I'm going to be using Calypso Blue and the number P to get that next row of um, little larger size dots. I have to go over it sometimes to get the little button um, look so that the paint looks smooth. And that's why you see me kind of dip it twice there, try to get a little, little button on the center of those dots. This is a really, really simple pattern, and, but it gives a really pleasing look. 
And I think, um, I think you'll really enjoy making this. And then again, going off the edge where I, where I hit the edge there. And now I'm using a mix of purple pizzazz and titanium white for a lighter shade of purple and the number L crochet hook. And I'll put a row of those all the way around. You can see that I'm kind of lining those up um, so that I get the best um, placement of those dots. And then I'm kind of guesstimating over the edge there. Now that I have that row of light purple, I will go around and start walking the dots and I'm using the largest ball stylus. And um, my technique is to go all the way around one side for each one of those dots. And once I have all of those uh, dots on there, I will um, go back and go around the other side. It's just a little easier for me to um, get them space correctly or space the way I'd like them to be if I do it um, one side at a time. So I'm going to go back around. You'll notice I touch the center dot again, drop a little bit of extra paint. That does make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm able to walk the dots all the way around each one of those light purples. This is a really, really simple pattern, but I think it's really pleasing because um, it has a light kind of a flower look to it. Um, so we'll just finish up those dots. And I'm going in with uh, my 5 8 inch dial, do, uh, dowel and the purple pizzazz and uh, just adding um, that row of the larger dots. If you drip any paint or anything, just use your Q-tip to roll it off and, and then finish brushing that off and let it dry. And then I'll go all the way around with this dowel. Now if you don't um, want to, you don't have a dowel and you don't want to go buy one or find one, um, I do have a little sample for how to make a bigger element upcoming so you can see that you don't have to go and buy exactly the tools that um, are shown here. Just kind of use your imagination and and see what you can put together, change the pattern a little bit. Now I'm going back in to drop a little bit of extra paint. I'm using a smaller crochet hook just so I can get that button in the middle. Um, I just like the way that looks and I'm not using any top dots in this particular piece so I want that um, final paint to look nice. And then I'll add the last dots going over the edge of the heart where I need to. I've, um, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry just because it was a little dangerous for me to, to, to walk the dots while it was wet. And I'm going in with my H hook and putting the center dot and I'm using the lighter um, titanium white and purple pizzazz mix that I made and putting the larger dot right above the um, that that largest dot there. And I'm actually going to walk these around but I'm going to start with a larger crochet hook and then I'll come in with the um, the next size, the G, the G size actually, and put one dot on either side. And again, you know, I go off the edge when I need to. You may have um, a larger or smaller pattern just depending on how you dot and the size and spacing that you use. But I'll go all the way around with those um, smaller purple dots. And once I get all those on, I'm ready to start with my uh, largest ball stylus and I will just walk those dots all the way around. Just getting a little bit closer so you can see this a little bit better. And of course I've sped this up um, so that the video is not too long, but you get the um, you can see how you drop those, the paint um, reduces as you tap it onto the canvas or to the, uh, the picture frame in this case. And we'll just go all the way around each one of those larger dots. I think that gives such a pretty look when you walk those dots around. A nice uh, element of interest.
Now I mentioned that um, you may not have a dowel, so I'm just gonna show you what I might do if I were um, going to just, I'm trying to get a size, a certain size here. So I would use my largest crystal light crochet hook and drop some paint around, and then I would use my G hook and then uh, walk the dots with the largest ball stylus. So that's what, what one row would look like. And then to make it a little bit larger, I'm gonna go in and add, um, add another row. And that just gives it a little bit, makes it a little bit bigger and gives it a little bit more weight. Now I'm gonna brush off uh, with a damp paper towel the, the lines. Everything's been dried, so it's all been set aside for hours, and um, I've had a chance to let it dry well, and I'm just going to um, rub off lightly those marks. Here's the little heart insert that we saved, and I'll just use it to cut a picture, or if you want, don't have, wanna use a picture, you can use a little saying, and um, I think both of those are gonna look really pretty. So let's go ahead and put the picture in so you can see what it looks like. Um, there's a little stick that goes on the back. Don't forget to paint that. I also had to um, sand it down a little bit to get it to fit in the hole. So I'm going to first use the picture that I have. This is of my granddaughter Piper and um, her little flower garden. So I've got um, inserting the picture and then I'll use that little card, the heart card that came with it just as a backing. And you can see how cute that looks. Um, the colors match nicely there. And then again, if you don't wanna use a photo, you can use a little saying or some kind of little graphic element that you have. I have this little heart element that I thought was really cute. And it's really, colors match nicely. So here are the finished pieces. There's the one with the picture. And here's one with uh, the, uh, photo, the uh, just the graphic element. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun making it. I'm so in love with this mandala dot painting. I'll bring more videos for you like that. Um, please subscribe, give me a like, send me a comment. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.